What if it bumped that control by accident? You'd be mincemeat by now. What have I told you? You don't work on equipment when the engine's running. Well, I told him not to touch anything. All right, I guess I wasn't thinking. You weren't thinking? You mean you'll work on engines and machinery and not think of your own personal safety? Here, here, here. Shake hands with danger. to become a three-fingered Joe. <laughs> 1940s, 50s rocket engine with aluminum housing, cannon fuse, and solid fuel. Shaking hands with danger. Shaking hands with danger. <laughs> safety glasses. Yeah. With your safety toe boots on. That's straight up Doug too. So we're gonna pull the big guns out now. <clears throat> shoes, so we got a. And there's hey dude, there's like gaskets in here too, which I guess are to slow. Uh, maybe maybe it slows the charge burn or something. See, there's like these O-ring gasket looking things in there. Let me grab uh let me grab the sure light. Oh shit. <laughs> he says oh shit. <laughs> so here's a <laughs> I gotta get the sure light out. This is the sure light cannon fuse on the uh, cannon testing table. <laughs> No. Oh, you are not. And I know we're, we're low on, maybe when I turn this on, the, you'll be able to see. I have like zero visibility on the camera. Not, not very impressive at all. So I think what we need is a bunch more of them, like a hundred. And you know what? I think the other deal is too is it needs to be compressed. So, but that wouldn't have done a whole lot. That wouldn't have done anything but smoke. Yeah, you can't even get it to light through that little hole. So, well, Joe's going home with all his fingers tonight. We can try the bigger ones, though. I got, you know, they got the bigger ones. Now, if we packed it with some gunpowder. And I think that you're supposed to pack those through, through and through with. I don't think you're supposed to just put like one little baby plug in there either. You know, so. I'm going to put sure fire. Maybe you could do like a black and white video. And make it look all Hey, old. you! <laughs> and walk funny. Yeah. <laughs> there goes the razor blade, stabbing the top of my boot. You could do some black and white video. Oh, all crackly and shit. All right, ah, all right, fuck that top. Yeah. Excuse your language. I'm three for your job. <laughs> I'm shaking hands with danger more times than you can count. Tom T. Tabulger. <laughs> my middle name shake your hands. What the hell? Oh, dude, what is this? An old condom? Dude, I could just see it, man. Such a good video. Uh, what is that? Open that up, man. I'm not touching it. Well, I gotta hold the camera. It's already open. Oh, is it a condom? No, it's fuse. Ooh. 
Yeah, dude. dude, you know, I don't think this shit's worth anything. It's probably not, dude. I mean, here, that thing of fuse was $1.99 in 1932, so. Did they even have warning flammable signs in, in the 40s? It, it ain't that. They didn't have warning signs back then, did they? That looks like maybe 70s. Is there a circa? Look at that song. All right, so jet X fuel is not an explosive, but a gas generating pellet. So 200 degrees Celsius flash points, so in a cool, dry place. Sure, that hasn't been done. Face of fuel pellet. Coil round face of fuel pellet and feed in jet nozzle. So it's like... So you got to have a shitload of fuse. I guess that's what it's saying. you got to coil it around the fucking... Okay. All right. No shit. They're for the cars. They put them on the cars and they fucking went. Like the Pinewood Derby car. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm saying. But what did say? What's see? What are these things? What, these are the great. You know, these are the great toys of my childhood, man. Well, they quit making it because it's fucking poison. That's, if it's not toxic, it's not good. That's lead. That's got lead or something. That's lead base. Look, let's see. Yeah. So is this? I bet you that that's a crush gasket then. For this housing. So. Oh. See. We got this guy. And look, that pitch right there. What? Yeah. So that's a crush gasket or some, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and that's a seal. And that's a tent. Yeah, that's the, that's the it tension. Is. That is the tensioner. See this? Shit. Okay, so. Welcome to Team Park Monkeys. Screen up with that. All right. space is there. Yeah, a whole bunch. Cut that. Let's cut that. Let me get a cutter. I gotta get my fuse cutter out. But it's this piece of paper say? Oh, what? Wait a minute. We might have instruction. Oh, we got instruction. Over here, dude. So am I doing it right? Okay. Here's how they bent the fuse. Like this. Look how they bent it. And that's basically what I was doing, but I was using more than I needed to. Free of all moisture. Oh, you can put them on a radiator overnight if they get wet. Do we have a radiator? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a radiator in the house. I was planning to do something like that. Okay. Okay. Like that, and then we're going to put that like that. And basically do it like this. Insert it. You got to use your action words. Insertion. Would be nice. I guess I wasn't thinking. Like we were able to hit it right on the fucking deal. You mean you'll work on engines happen. and machinery and not think of your own personal safety? Here, here. They lit the house, Shake Billy. I danger. smell smoke. Shake hands with danger. Button, button. Shake hands with danger. We need a car. If it goes in a car. Yeah, there you go. Let's leave it here in the light, though, so we can see what's going on. Well, up here on the pa it's right on the patio. No, oh, move the table over here in the light, then. I don't know that. Because the only thing we see over here is uh, nothing. One day, this table is going to go in the garbage. It would be nice if I was sticking it right in the fucking home. You ready? Been ready for like 45 minutes. <laughs> Damn, I'm telling you. I don't know why I'm running. We know it's. I don't know. It's a lot safer here. Though. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Danger, danger. You hear that? Something up there went pissy. <laughs> danger, danger. 
It still didn't ignite that shit. No, that was the cannon fuse. Yeah, that was the fuse that got shot out yeah. of the That was kind of cool. I guess maybe that other cannon fuse ignited or something. Oh, it's really going to be screwed up. Uh, somebody's going to say, hey, you got one of those still sealed in a package, man? I'll give you 500 for it. <laughs> say, no, they were all open when I got them. Yeah, I was about to do a deal today. I'll start to work still has the plastic. He's like, so. Still got the blister pack. You can barely see through from the yellow. Pretty bright, just little rocket engine, though. I mean, for what it is. I really thought some more work would have been put into, you know, the porting of that. Yeah, we need some real cannon fuse to stick in it. <laughs> that would have been fucked up if it would have. Three finger Joe. Don't be a Mr. Bunglehead. Are all these boxes empty? It just looks like a fucking bad idea, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, who was the rocket scientist that figured this? I think he was a Ford engineer. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. Again. Dude, this don't do it. I don't think so. Yeah, it's, it's got lost its fucking... It's lost its do it -ness. Unless they've just got too much moisture in them. Let me grab, let me grab one of those rounded uh, fuel blocks out of that package and see. Because you know it, that, these fuel uh, plugs didn't come out of the same batch that the others did. Oh, wait, let me get sure, sure like. But let's see. This is the broken one. Right. You got your lighter? Yeah. Let me see it here. Give me a little bit of... See. This is the new pute. One of these. Try that one. Try this one. What if it bumped that control by accident? You'd be minced meat by now. What have I told you? You don't work on equipment when the engine's running. See, that's what's supposed to happen. Yeah, and it looks, nice, vi slow, it looks viable. Yeah, a nice, slow, steady burn. That looks viable. So, here, here's what we're going to do. Grind one up. Yep. We're gonna grind one up. It smells good. You said didn't didn't inhale it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It smells real good. I said we fucking grind a bunch of shit up right there. I'm gonna grants with that. I concur. Didn't it say no smoking? <laughs> I thought that was the whole point. We're trying to catch something on fire. Dude, I feel a little lightheaded. Here. <laughs> Well, no, but it doesn't reach, remember? No, I was just showing off the press. The fluid no. Oh. Danger. It might have enough pressure to um, reseal a Coke bottle. I like in the old days when you made a... Danger, danger. When you're a one hitter? When you were smoking, <laughs> smoking resin. <laughs> Dude, this is some good stuff. This is always the good stuff here, dude. <laughs> Wrong some crap. This came off the it tasted like ashtray and ass. Dude, this is the good stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> Convincing yourself that you're not a broke dick. <laughs> dude, this don't do it. I don't think what we, we were missing is the caution light. Watch, it's gonna freak us out this time. It's gonna be like, oh shoot, too much! <laughs> too much! Caution light. Alright. <laughs> Leave the propane bottle right there just in case it goes off. 
Glenn and we still haven't learned not to back up. Oh, come on. Mm-mm. There it goes, man. <laughs> I don't think it's... I think it's a negative thrust. <laughs> it's kind of cool looking, though. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, oh, we got another pellet firing up. Hey, okay. That's hot. Danger, danger, danger. Look at some bird now. Danger, 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 danger. Danger, danger, danger. Danger, danger, danger. Danger, Listen, give me the damn lighter back. Oh, listen. Listen. They put a fuse out of the wire. You notice that? 